Alright, so today I will show you guys how to install a electrical outlet. First, you need one of these. It's a stud finder. Let's see if there's any studs around this area so we can install that outlet. Mm, nothing, nothing, nothing. Perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire using that as the power source. Tap into that power source, wire it all the way down, and install an outlet right here for the bidet. Stay tuned. All right, so these are the tools you will need. Common tools are the stud finder. Also have a leveler. I just got a torpedo leveler just in case. Junction box for your wiring. Handy dandy measuring tape. Pencil to outline the box. And a cutter tool, a automatic oscillating tool. Let's get started. Um, I like it to be right behind the toilet. Standard outlet for my house is around 13 and a half inches. So that's where I'm gonna mark it. Hope my arm's not in the way. And then we're gonna trace an outline where we want the box. I kinda want it in here. And I also want it to level it. Let's see what's going on. Here. No studs. Good. Now, basically, what this box does is um, it doesn't need a stud. You need to cut the outline from here, which is the inner line. So once you cut it, you push it in, and what happens? This little little flap right here, when you screw tight, will hold on to it on the drywall, so it holds it together. Just a guideline. Inside the frame. So basically what we want to do is slowly score it first, then puncture it. One reason why I like to do a little bit of time because you really never know what's behind it. So you gotta take your time slowly. And you can definitely tell when the blade's going through the wall, uh, there's no resistance. So that means you, you puncture through it. can pull it out here look at that super clean let's go ahead and vacuum up all right let's see how it fits all you do is slide it in oh my perfect fit look at that not that cool once you tighten that up you're golden all right let's go into the next step the game plan is to get the wire we'll tap into that power then run another power source from there all the way down from the attic to here. Don't forget to turn off your power before you do anything. Bathroom. We found the fan box. That's where we're gonna drill. Wire the power into that box. We can get the power straight from the source and that's the the fan, so we'll tap into this. So it's an indoor wire. It's a 14 gauge by three. It comes with a ground. Uh, it can handle 600 volts. Neutral, ground, red wire, positive. I think seven eighth will give us some room. Yes! 
Ooh, it went through. Now, all we have to do is wind it and push this down. This is what I'm doing. I'm just winding it, unwinding it actually. We're back. Let's take this out. Let's look inside. We finally fished the wire down. Let's go ahead and put this breaker in. Break one of these. Boom. Done. We'll just leave it there. Just in case. I'm just gonna cut this wire. Go here. There we go. We wanna install this junction box so that way nothing can get in it and it protects the, uh, the circuit. So it's not going anywhere. And then we'll use this cable, plug it in here, and one plug in here. All right, I did turn off the breaker, but just to make sure, all right, all right, we're good. Let's cut it. All right, let's cut just to make sure again. See if the line is active. Nothing, and of course nothing. Let's go ahead and strip this real quick. Again, this is probably 14 gauge. So I got these little guy. It's really cool. This connects all the wire to one. Boom. And then I'm gonna connect one by one. This is super tight in here. That's one. white there's the white it's just a little too long to cut it down to size all right that's secure do one for the ground the breaker the other side this one is the fan so I'm gonna go ahead and strip this All right, for this one, since it only has the black and white, we're just gonna go with black and white. So white, black, and ground. A waterproof gank, and it's made for outside, so that's why I'm using it. As long as it's covered, I'm good. Let's go test it out. Put in the, uh, the GFCI outlet in the bathroom. And we're not stripping the red because we're not using the red right now. GFCI. And it comes with the cover. Let's go ahead and put it in. We go and then this is the cover and all we have to do put it in the line this is the line this is the load we're not extending it to any other side silver white all right, make sure it's not going anywhere perfect gold is always black. That's hot. So slide that in here. Tighten that. There we go. Make a loop. Put it in here. Turn and it'll loop it. Look at that. That's a perfect loop. All right. That's 
that's good. We just hide this. And now we just push this back in. Good to go. 